Hey guys, this is my interactive music project. Um, it's a gesture controlled uh, effects controller for guitars, wherein the input is from an accelerometer coming from a mobile phone, a mobile device which has touch OSC sending OSC messages into this max patch. And this phone in turn is mounted on the guitar body. So what I wanted to do was uh, experiment with uh, body mounted effects as in adding an element for performance uh, as an expressive element you might say if you want. So uh, the the input data the accelerometer 3D vector is coming in to this max patch and I'm using an SVM a sub support vector machine to basically train and classify my positions or my gestures. And uh, I'm using the MLLibs uh, uh, library for the SVM. It's a linear SVM that I'm using here in. So first of all, uh, we train, uh, the user trains uh, a couple of classes of his position that he might want. So the first one is the normal, is the normal position you might want to hold in, uh, wherein your signal is un unaffected by any of the gestures or effects here in this uh, patch. The other four uh, include four different effects, which I'll come to really uh, soon. Uh, so once the user is done training, uh, basically uh, you map it and then uh, the SVM predicts the class when you move, uh, you, when you make that gesture moving to that particular position or, uh, and it also spits out uh, the probability confidence of what that class, class might be. So, but, uh, different classes might have different range parameters and it's an unstable uh, output that's coming in. So how to scale this? So for that, I'm using an auto range or you might say an auto calibration wherein the user can uh, click these positions, position one, two, three, and four, uh, and move to that position and back slowly, uh, which will uh, and which will map itself to the max and mins so that the range are uh, auto controlled. So once that's done, the user can go ahead and play. So the four effects that are used herein are basically a stutter effect. So uh, the probability con is a, uh, the probability values are basically a continuous function which are controlling the amount by which uh, the stutter is affected, which is further quantized as to how much you move. Uh, using a quantizer of 1 by 16, 1 by 8, or 1 by 4, or 1 by 32, if you might. And uh, we all, the second effect is basically uh, granular synthesis, wherein uh, the grain size is controlled by the probability function, which is scaled and mapped. Uh, but the grain size uh, and the, uh, and the uh, pitch harmonics uh, that uh, this grain is going to have is controlled by the rate by which you change. So it's like an up and down motion. If you move it really fast, uh, it detects like a tempo change, like a tap in tempo, and that in turn is used. So the other effect is basically a simple reverb for the third position. And for the fourth position, uh, the pitch of the signal the uh, coming in is detected, and that frequency is in turn used to control a wavetable synthesizer. To give it uh, to give an effect, and the levels are controlled uh, of the envelope is controlled by the input signal level itself. All right, so let me demo you quickly how this happens. So the setup is quite easy. So first, let's reset, and we are on train. So I'm going to first train my normal position. So a couple of uh, values for it. All right, so I'm going to go to my second position. So my first position or my second position, as I said, is going to be this and I train a couple of values for that. Now for my third, second position, I train a couple of values. For my third position, I train again a couple of values. For my fourth position, I again train a couple of values. Now that is done, I'm gonna hit train me. And now it's trained. So let's go and map it. So now, but we need to set the ranges to which this will automatically scale to so that our probability values are not differently scaled. 
So for position one, I click this and I slowly move and back and click that back again to stop. For position two, I can click it, slowly move back, stop. Position three, slowly move back, stop. And position four, the same thing. All right. Now that's done. Uh, let me dem demo you all the positions and all the effects. So my, in my normal position, I'm having a dry distortion signal coming in. All right, now for the stutter. And for the grandness synthesis. Now, let me show you how the rate changes the uh, pitch harmonics and the grain size. Alright, now for the reverb. And the final synth patch, uh, the wave table synthesizer, which is position 4. That's about it, and we're back.